be getting on a plane. For now, I'm driving to uh, Lower Lincoln in Valpo to film another day, another half day at uh, this conference thing. And then I head back to the house, finish packing, because I had a few pieces of equipment that I left there. So I gotta manage to fit all that in. Last night I had my, my bag at 65 pounds with all of the gear that I wanted to bring with and I still had more stuff I needed to fit in there. Then Michelle told me I could bring two big bags and have them checked. So I'm gonna do that and then just split it up. That way I could bring my case of beer and all my equipment and my clothes and other things that I require for this four or five days. Anyways, it's quite snowy and uh, treacherous out here. Oh, all right, back for day three, testing out a different, not a different, uh, what have I done differently today? Today I used a different lens and I'm using hopefully what looks red behind me. Uh, I'm not confident that it is. I feel like this still might be a little bright on my face, but I'm gonna go look at the video and see. I'm done TV here on the last day of this workshop. Um, just testing out the new setup for today. I want to mix it up enough that you can tell a visual difference. Obviously the set is the same. I'm trying to mix up the color and the lens. That's all. All right, just did the group photo and just walking around getting B-roll shots still. I got to edit something and we're only here until 12.30. It's 9.30. Not only for themselves, but for the people around them. Our community is stronger for it. Excited for day two. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Don Tiva here at the pre-accelerator program at Lower Lincoln. I'm getting dizzy. This is the last day. Uh, we're going to wrap it up in the next two hours, and then I am going to get all my stuff, get out of here, go home, and then hop on an airplane to go to California. If they weren't in the middle of the session, I would use this gong hammer to go hit the gong. It's not a microphone. It's clearly a boom sort of situation. So, Don Tiva. Uh, and then the last one is, now, be a dreamer here. I know I said don't be a dreamer, be a doer, but uh, just speak it into existence. In the future, my company will be, like, how big is your company going to become? All right, just wrapping up the filming here. Wade has one more thing he wants to say, and then I'm heading to RDS and back to the house and finishing packing and leaving. Sorry. Ultimately, ultimately, we exist to start something that changes everything. Badass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, do I need to look at the camera for any for maybe I don't the beginning? No, you you popped up enough. Unless you want to the beginning. The whole thing again. Yeah, I'll do it one more time. Yeah. Because, because basically, get a glimpse of what you want to say for yep. a statement, and then say it, yeah. and then look back. Kind of I right. love that. Doing bad. Doing bad. After you, sir. She's telling me things to do remotely. Thanks, babe. Trying to reattach some lights. Oh, never mind, I can't. Did it wear off? It ripped apart. Uh-oh. Tis that time, and I'm in the car, uh, just about to head out towards the airport. Gonna meet Fernando at Midway, and uh, you'll see. Fernando's here. What do you know? Where are you going? You parking there? You just want to back into the shot? No, um, I think we should go to the garage. Why? Because I have a ton of gear in here. Aren't you bringing it with you? No, I have like a bunch of lighting and stuff. Uh, fine. Lead the way. Let's do it. Let's get it because their bus hasn't come around yet. Here we are at the electric vehicle charging station. Level two. How's it going, Fernando? Going good. You about ready? Yeah, I'm almost there. It's cold out here. You brought it? Yeah, I found it. Nice. It has to go. Okay, we ended up uh, on the bus here heading to the airport. Shuttle, just the two of us. I am uh, be, like beyond stressed. So, holy shit. One thing was five pounds over, and then the other one was one pound over. He took the one pound over one, and I'm like, well, what can I take off that's over five pounds? 
a tripod. He's yeah, like, right. he's like, you can just clip it on you. Really? Holy shit. I cannot believe we made it with three minutes to spare through um, check-in. Exact route one. Fernando, why are you meowing? I don't like the. Is that you meowing? Somebody just meowed. We just cut off the plane and we're heading towards baggage claim. Michelle is probably circling the airport waiting to pick us up. I did not know those things worked on cargo. Just sitting here waiting for Michelle. I guess she should be pulling up any second. She's down two posts. I guess we could have just walked over there. I realized 1B was that close. Wow. Just got picked up. Hey, babe. My mouth tasted like mouth. Hell yeah. Terrible. So this is the reveal of the, what did you call it, Fernando? Oh, it's not a Mustang. It's a, it looks like an electric Mustang. I thought it was. It's an electric <laughs> Subaru. It's a Subaru. Okay, this is how we do it, guys. This is how we do it. Pay attention. Touch the keypad uh -huh. until the buttons light up or you push that button. Uh huh. Okay, the code is zero, nine, nine. So Fernando already took down an elephant that was hanging above his bed, and then we opened the closet and found this soul capturing painting. <laughs> you know what? The elephant's going in the f closet. All these memories in my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind. I'm still a secret lemonade drinker.